My entire family are obsessed with motorsport and classic cars just like this Jag. This is an XJC. Really important, it was only around between 74 and 78. Now there was only 97 brought into Australia and this 77 V12 was the 97th. Why don't you come with me so I can tell you why it's so close to my heart. So my history with Jags is that I grew up in a Jag, an XJ, it was beautiful. It was a four-door white one. My dad still to this day restores them, he finds Jags anywhere across Australia. He's always searching eBay for parts. He'll buy motors and put a V12 in and all the wheels and everything is around his man cave at home. I don't know how my mum puts up with it. It's an obsession. But it means that when I see a Jag, I think of my dad. Even when I smell grease, I think of my dad. He raised us very well like that. We're all obsessed with cars. <laughs> so my dad used to take my mom and my sister and I to Mount Panorama to the Bathurst 1000. We'd sit there at Hell's Corner. We were really privileged. I was only like eight years old, so we got to see Peter Brock and all of the legends of the sport. And he told us to close our eyes and feel the engines in your soul. Now, it might sound strange, but it was there that my obsession was born with V8s and supercars, everything with motors. It's basically like my family sport. Bathurst Day is like our Christmas. It's funny, on the first High Five album, it actually says, what would you be doing if you weren't in High Five? And I said, a supercar driver. I had aspirations from that point. <laughs> So I think it must be in my blood. It's passed through from my dad to me. I drive a Jeep now, and I think one day my ultimate car, oh, I used to say McLaren and supercar. Am I aiming too high? I don't know, but I have a feeling doing this series, I'm going to find my ultimate car. This Jag feels pretty good, just saying.